Antonio Conte officially announced as Chelsea boss. We thought we'd ask the guys on the social club whether we think it's a good appointment uh, for the Blues. Liam, what do you think? I think no matter what manager they bring in, it's a poison chalice to Chelsea, no matter what. Like, It's just the biggest name who happens to be available at the time. He hasn't done the job before. Uh, I'm not saying, <laughs> even though Hedick's been there twice, hasn't he? I'm not saying that Conte's a bad manager or anything, but he's going to come in and do exactly what every other manager did. Spend loads of money, hopefully finish top four, maybe win a title and maybe compete in Europe. What's going to change? Nothing's going to change. And two years' time, if, if Ramovic falls out with him, he's going to sack him and then it'll be next one on the... On the I feel the like I feel like you, you, you're being a bit blasé about that. I think Why? in a year or two of Man United not being in the top four, you might all of a sudden think that was their, <laughs> their pretty lofty ambitions. Like, but you know, well, I think you're right in that. I don't, I don't know enough about him as it and it, it management style stuff. And there is a video out of them. Andy Brassel talking about it on the Ball Street Channel now. Go and check that out. But the... <laughs> I think Liam's right. The mould for Chelsea managers, they get a guy in, they want to play a particular brand of football, they spend massive, yeah. they play really well for a bit, they score loads of goals, and then it doesn't quite continue in that vein. Abramovich gets bored, the fans get bored, Who's next? And, they, and they move yeah. on to someone else. So I don't know. He's, got, he's, he's a good manager, though. You know, and don't forget, good. they're going to throw a shitload of money at him. Yeah. Conte's going to go, happy days, I'll take the payday. It's not like it's a blacklist on a CV after he gets sacked for two years, no, you know? No. They're gonna, he's going to go, happy days, I'll take the five million back pocket and move on to the next thing. Let's just, yeah. I just quickly bring up some of, his, some of his, his history as a manager. So he won the Serie A three times with Juventus, won the Super Cup twice, and he won Serie B back in the day as well. He's also a fifth-class knight. Is he? He's a fifth class knight. <laughs> I don't really understand what that is. <laughs> Presumably it means that he, you know, he'll also... Slay some Italian dragons or something. Um, <laughs> as a player, he won Serie A five times, won the Champions League once, the UEFA Cup once, and he's a runner-up in World Cup '94 and Euro 2000. So look, he's got he's got pedigree as a player yeah. and as a manager. So it's not like the, the Chelsea job's not too big for him. Do you think it's? A, what do you think? Good move. That's a great move. I do considering when you look what's out there, who they can go for. I think he's, he's a fantastic manager, to be fair. You just read his, his CV there. It's decorated, I think. All of our clubs would take a CV like yeah. that one. We'd all be delighted Is it good that. enough for Chelsea, though? I mean, it's not like Serie A is the most competitive Is anyone, league, you know, league, but you could argue that with any, anyone, couldn't you? You could argue, you could say, you know, Van Hal, you yeah. know, dropping his kicks at Bayern Munich. Was that good enough? You know, Klopp won a, a, a two-team league in Germany. Wenger's, you know... Wenger, isn't he? And, and, <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to say no, that. Arsene Wenger's won the Premier League. He's, he won the league in Japan. He's transformed <laughs> yeah. the club and everything mm. that. And, you know, Roberto Martinez likes pies and has won an FA Cup. So <laughs> it's one of them, isn't it? Um, I think for Chelsea, it's a good appointment. I think the problem with Chelsea is you never get the feeling they bring someone in for the long term. Like you've just yeah. said, you, know, you always know that in two or three years, <clears> they probably will recycle this fella. But then again, it depends how well he does and how... how how he likes the job, doesn't he? If he does really well, he, he's not, you know, doesn't cause Roman too much headaches. He could be there for the long term, yeah. but Chelsea never, never look to me like the, they want to put someone in place for five years. He was the European Cup, he sacked him. Yeah. For not playing Torres, yeah. you know what I mean? It's just well, it wasn't just, I think the fact that he was struggling as well in the league. Oh, was come why on, no. He got, well, I think they were about 11th when he sacked them, or 10th. And they just be the European champions, it wasn't good yeah. enough, was it? I, it's, it's, yeah, they, I mean, it, we do feel, it does feel like it's, Constantly, it's just a, the same old story over again. I think it's exciting. I don't know a lot of clubs I think it's do that. Well, yeah, no, you're right. It's it's the modern the modern way. Bayern Munich like. are just about to go back into it, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. But I think I think it's exciting so much as because again, who else of of the established managers? They tried most of them, haven't they? This is right? it. Yeah, you know, they've been, yeah, they've been to it? Ancelotti. They've been to Mourinho twice. Hitting twice. You know, hitting twice now. And to be fair, hitting the job he's done since he's come in. You know, could have kept hitting. Yeah. Could well have kept him on there, but I, you know, I'm excited because we talked mm. about this. Uh, it might have even been last week or the week before about how whether the the top quality of talent is really you know in the Premier League and will we see it start to come back to the Premier League? But I think potentially from next season, you've got the best manager in Germany, um, Klopp. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got Pep Guardiola in the league. You got Jurgen Klopp. You're also been the best manager from from Italy into the league. You know, there's there's real, uh, you know, there's there's the the managers could well be a draw for the league. I think Conte's going to carry a lot of. There's going to be a lot of people who saw what he yeah. did at Juventus and uh, if, in, in Italy that who think go ahead, I'll I'll, yeah. I'll I'll fancy a piece of that. So I think it's a guy, a guy tweeted me earlier said he's got a name in keeping with the club as well, so that helps. And his surname, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, right? But listen, I I think. To be fair, it's a progressive. Um, it's a progressive um, way. The way they've gone about it, you know, what I mean, 
you wouldn't have thought that they would have gone for someone for, like Conte, but he does play very attractive football as well. Um, and he is a winner. You can see by that record. And they there. love an old The only Italian thing is, though, when you've been, when you, when he, <laughs> that excellent record he did have for Juventus, though, they were sort of like the only club yeah. in Italy that, at that time because of all, what was going on that had a chance of winning a lot of these yeah. things. But I, I, I don't know. I think it is a good appointment. It is a good appointment. Um, I still think to myself, though, they could have kept hitting. I, I, yeah. I think hitting's done, you know, considering where they were at. He stabilised it, and maybe if he had it long term, I think he could do maybe a good job. Maybe he's smart enough to know that he doesn't want it long term, though. Have the deal with the Browns yeah. day in, day out. You don't know what side your bread's buttered on, do you? No, it's true. It's an interesting one. Uh, Chelsea fans watching, I mean, you know your thoughts on whether you, whether you're excited for it. I, I Another mean, Italian manager as well. They like yeah. they, they like an Italian manager, don't they? Well, just in general, they love all Di the Matteo, old Matteo, Conte, <laughs> Viali, Ranieri, <laughs> Viali. They yeah, like an Italian. Go. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. But I mean, I guess it would be interesting to know whether it, it, it softens the blow of obviously losing Mourinho. There's still a lot of Chelsea fans very sore at the decision to, to to get rid of the manager. And you you look at that, I guess that, you know, he thinks obviously done something. It's clearly, there's clearly talent within that squad, which is, it shouldn't even need saying. They're still the Premier League champions yeah, at the, the minute, aren't they? You know? So, um, yeah, it's just see whether he's, he's got what it takes to turn it around. So, Chelsea fans, let us know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Ball Street YouTube channel. It's dead easy. We're here every single week with more fantastic social club action. And, yeah, we'll see you here next Monday.